First of all, I, I thank Almighty God that the ULP elections has gone off uh, peacefully without any serious uh, incident, apart from some of the, uh, the minor incidents which we have all seen on the social uh, media also. Based on the complaint, uh, we have decided we have decided to go for a reform. That is in Dimapur. The other uh, incident that occurred in uh, Mogokchong, which we are all aware of, there the case has been registered. A formal complaint was made by the Congress, uh, like to the RO. So the RO has uh, passed it on to the SP and the case has been registered. Where the reform was held, there also, like under the relevant uh, uh, article of the Nagaland Municipal Act, a case has been registered by the Commissioner of uh, Police. So further action will continue. Uh, it will not end that the report has been like done and everything is okay. No, that case will be investigated and uh, uh, we will see to its logical end. Before the election polling day was there, we had a preventive detention of 553 individuals all over the state. From here, 300 individuals were from Dimapur under the commissioner. We have had one recovery of one weapon from an abandoned vehicle which had an uh, Assam registration AS 12K 2934 auto vehicle. So both the vehicle and the uh, weapon have been seized. Investigation is going on to identify the uh, uh, culprits. Uh, overall, 20 other cases were registered due to some of the scuffles, some of the, uh, the incidents of intimidation that we have got. So the police have registered 20 cases. From this, uh, 22 people were also arrested, in which uh, from the campus of the uh, uh, polling station in uh, Dimapur, some amount was seized from one individual. That amount totaled 2 lakh 48,000 730. This individual was detained at the police station till the end of polling. Uh, and as we are all aware, there is no notification on the, uh, the expenditure limit and so on. Youngest woman candidate who was merely 21 years old and the eldest who was 71 years old, both of them contested and won. So I think this is a symbolic uh, way of expressing that women have won on this day. To all the stakeholders, I wish to say that uh, like I express my gratitude to the uh, civil administration who have done a yeoman job, the DCs, the ROs, the AROs, and all the election staff. Plus also the security forces. May I again remind you that the entire security was done by the Nagaland police alone. No other forces were involved. So I congratulate them also. Then I also wish to express my gratitude to all the, the NGOs 
including uh, as we have all read in the uh, papers, the appeal from the NBCC, the appeals made by the tribal hohos, the appeals made by other uh, uh, NGO organizations for a free, fair and peaceful election. This has really induced all of us. We have uh, this kind of synergy that made the state election commission uh, able to carry out the uh, processes of this election in such a peaceful way. So I thank all of you. I also wish to uh, thank the observers who were mostly like uh, senior government officials from our state and uh, they have also done their duty in an outstanding way so I also congratulate them also. Now for the biggest congratulations I wish to reserve for Naga women. This was your election where for the first time in our history the reservation for the women has been done so many of you have participated so eagerly like in fact 198 of you who have uh, filed your uh, nomination total of 214 states uh, which is already here and 64 went uncontested and in terms of the margin of vote, as per the data available with us, the biggest margin, as, uh, as per the updated data, and this is also subject to change, uh, is under Ward 7 DMC, where the margin was 568. The winner was 1550. And the next closest winner uh, uh, candidate was 947. On the other hand, we have the lowest margin of one vote. That is in two wards. Under ward A, Changdongnya, won by a margin of one vote only. And that is also under ward 6, to zero, one. That is there. And we, it was shared also, we have this youngest female winner that is under Bandari uh, from BJP party. And we have the oldest female winner uh, from Peren, that is from NDP party. Uh, the oldest is Sibile. Uh, and from the youngest is Inzanroni Muzi. Pandari. And the number of females that won in unreserved seats was 10 to 7. And the youngest male winner, Nathan Ken, age 25, uh, to limit from JDU. But for example, we have from NDPP starting point JP President of now, followed by uh, this BJP. 3.68 and the other party is also close to that uh, figure and in terms of vote share male 10 to 20.36 and female 13.38 that's what we have and the largest seats shared share has been won by NDPP party with 92 at the time of our updating followed by 12 from NDF, 8 from BJP, 5 from INC, 5 from JDU, 4 from NPP, 2 from LJP, 4 from NPP, 39 from independence. As I said earlier, that is again a 
update to further revision. So, so far we have only one particular right now. So as and when more data comes to our table, we will be sharing with you. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks, please, thanks to the media. We have been a watchdog actually. I, I was insisting that this is easy to Whenever you expect any problem, let us send more media so that at least that's a data. Actually, we have done a bad way. Well, thank you to you also. Because these elections, nothing went unnoticed. Yes, we have seen complaints, but if you compare to other, other years, I think it's quite subsided. What is actually seen, actually, that is a detail. Yeah. Not much was seen from the media this side. So, my congratulations to the media president also. Let us try to have this, what is called, uh, symbiotic relationship because it is for the good of the people. As far as practicable, we want to have free, fair, and peaceful elections. And to a greater extent, I think, I believe we have achieved in this, in this regard. Uh, because basically, since I'm on this administration, it's still been law and order. The elections are conducted by SEC, but normally the overall stage we prepare the people. So, with regard to cause, all violence this is not important actually. We have to report that these SPs are for the job. So it means for two, three days up to one week at least. But the period where we take it carefully. So I think on that front also we'd like to inform the media that that preparation is really done from the commission side and from the city side. So so thankful to all of you and I would congratulate the winners and the holders in general. Okay. Just to supplement what Sir said and Sir said over there. As a police department, we are grateful and we are thankful for the continuance that was bestowed upon us. As Sir has said, this is one election that Nagin Police pulled off on its own. We deployed about 108 companies on the field, on the ground, but uh, everybody was working around the clock. Especially the critic portion, our boys. The IR boys have gone outside the state and just returned and I would like to congratulate them also. Extend uh, the heartiest congratulations on my own behalf and on my on behalf of my DGP to all the districts, SPs, the Commissioner of Police and all the personnel who have you know performed duty on ground for their tireless effort for which I think uh, this election has gone off largely balance free and people have been free to exercise their franchise and it's been one of, as uh, Sir has pointed out, one of the fairest elections. I would like to congratulate all the winners uh, who have won today and uh, you know, you, as you are celebrating, I hope you will also remember that you should not <laughs> impede on others. And if anybody wants to impede on your celebrations, we are always there. We have a deployment for that also. As a state election of, of commissioner, I just wish to add that what are the takeaways from this evening? So I was thinking about it and then I retrospected. And also I heard from my officers and all that. And one very enthusiastic, uh, I think, sector officer, he reported that, sir, you do what do, sir? One man, one vote, commission. So I added, yeah, also one woman, one vote also. So I think like this is the takeaway from this election. When we speak about fairness, uh, free and fair voting that one man one vote one woman one vote let this be the template for all the future elections also so uh, with this i you know, end here <laughs>